way back we've been friends since way back made in since way back how it's been since way back since back then can't change that we've been cool so uh it's been a little bit of a break i think new year's was when we did our last run but yeah. i was on vacation <sighs> got a little time off a little bit <clears throat> back to work now back to work but it was fun i went to cozumel and the yucatan and i got that statue over there we could probably show that later yeah we could check that out um what else has been going on lots of stuff dropped while i was kind of gone or like right when i came back the little, like trailers yeah like just that, that one Really? I thought that was it. Was I mean, there something that, else? Sh- I mean, not necessarily while I was gone, but like we haven't really talked oh. about like Young Justice. Okay, yeah, yeah. Punisher Those just ones, yeah, came yeah. out. Uh, Runaway Season 2. Which I've been almost done with. Nice. I'm I... not caught up yet. How was it? It's okay. It's just like, you know, it's n- their take on like, I guess they couldn't really do the other storyline with the Gaborum. And yeah, the, like, that was, the was a little fucking weird. And so. like, now that I read the comic and then going into the second season, I was like, oh, I didn't even know that the church was the... the Give, yeah, the they had the name. And, and stuff. I was like, okay. So, they, they do the mentions at least. A so, little. I mean, there's... But I understand, like, you know, that w- I don't think that would have been good on a TV show. It, it wouldn't work very well. Yeah, and it, it doesn't translate work. well to a lot of audiences. Like, it just doesn't go well. So like, it makes more sense, I guess, that he's more of, like, the white. Hey, what's up, Ben? Him. Thanks for hopping in. For him instead of the gods, so yeah, it was cool. I mean, the run, like yeah. I said, I, and I like it. It's uh, it's it's got that for sure, like teen drama that you're wanting from. Like, yes, that from show. that kind of show, and that I like that from the first season too. I was rewatching the first season with my little brother, but uh, what else that came out? Hey, look, Izzy. Um, you got some sister. Hey, <laughs> that's cool. But uh, what else is... I mean, the Spider-Man stuff I'm kind of looking forward to. It's nice to see him with Nick Fury, I guess. It looks like they're playing off of the new Spider-Man cartoons they did uh, when he was like an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. I don't know if you saw those ones. It was like the 2008 run. Nope, I don't where think I did that. Where I think in that one, it's either Miles Morales or Deadpool is voiced by... Uh... I've seen animated charts where they... Yeah, he's in that one. Yeah, so okay. it's, it's just that one and they're like... He's like a teenager, but he works for Shield instead of like the Avengers. So is it the Elementals or is it Mysterio? Uh, or sorry, Mysterio. Uh, I think is the one for this one, right? Yeah, Mysterio. But like, there's a lot of speculation that it's it's Hydra Man and Molten Man, uh, right? But then there's a lot of speculation that it's not. It's the Elementals. Which I don't know. Are from... What if it's just Mysterio? And no, though? that's a lot of people are saying. That's because the other that's option like is whole... that it's just the. Cause like, yeah, like you see it. the water thing, but like that's his whole mo is right. to he's like, trying to play the hero basically. Oh, and it was the thing. It's like illusions, but it was illusions, and then people forget that he was also like a stunts coordinator. So like, yes, he could make illusions and like fake animatronic things, but he could also like engineer things like giant explosions or waterways being rerouted to like make floods seem like they were happening. I or like, like that all they're doing the fishbowl though. The fishbowl is always good, and I mean, and honestly, everyone like we always give shit to uh, Jake Gyllenhaal when he tr- takes these more like rough. I'm just glad that they don't really got to show his face too much. He's I like, mean, the, the thing is, ride. even I he's okay he did though. Good. I really like Jake. Gyllenhaal. I thought, I thought he, has, he did I good no in Prince of Persia, and then I don't know what other one he did. He was like really rugged that he did recently. But so, I, I think he does well. Like we always so. give him shit for it because he has like the baby face and he was Bubble Boy, but. If you do watch though the trailer, I guess there's a lot of speed downs uh, on the boat. There's ASA, ASM two fifty. No, not two fifty. It's like one fifty something. First. I can't remember, but that's supposed to be the first appearance of Hydra Man. Right. And they, then they did the same thing in another one. There's a license plate for the first appearance of Ultraman. That's Man. pretty cool. And they did another one for the first appearance of uh, I can't remember who it was, but. I think it was the elementals. Wow! And that, it was really, I, I love the Easter eggs they put. Yeah, in these. they like, were uh, so many Easter eggs throughout. They're really Marvel just movies. playing with the speculators, basically. I think like, they really are. Well, and they always like to. The thing they've been doing lately that I really like is they'll give us faux trailers where a lo- some of it's going in the movie and some of it is just to fuck with you. Yeah, you know, they did that with Thor when they changed the hammer scene. Oh yeah, and then uh, eye patch, right? We didn't see the yep, eye patch. No eye patch. There were a couple things. There were a couple yeah. different things that were changed. And then the same with Infinity Wars. When we we said that already. Remember uh, that he already had all the stones and yep, in the that, trailer it, they didn't show all the yeah, stones. Yeah, they showed like two stones or something. We already called that out. But we yeah, we kind of knew that if he was coming down on everybody, it was going to be all the stones. All stones. We had, we had called a couple of those. And this one I'm going to call a couple of others because Spider-Man's such that 
character that has everything going on that in order for them to throw loops like because even the last one like you had the vulture and the throw off was cool because it was the whole daughter thing i like uh it was My- michael keenan right right yeah, 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 like yeah. he makes a good villain yeah and he, he, makes, did. he, makes he did make a good villain the, he was kind of scary he was like the dad yeah. i don't want to mess and the, with yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like <laughs> but the thing i liked about that was they also set up for scorpion and a bunch of these other side villains that hopefully will come into play later because that's something we don't see that spider-man's like more specific for than any other villain i feel like or even hero group is you know the sinister six there's not a lot of six to one villain fights in no. comics they were saying that they might still do that oh yeah and i'd be happy saying. if they would but that's what i'm liking of it because in the don't get me wrong i enjoyed <clears throat> a lot of the previous spider-man series like the original sam Rainy, or no, the Sam Rainy. I enjoyed it until two, uh, after two, and yeah, then three, three is... Um, three is where it cuts, yeah. But that's still two good movies. An amazing just, Spider-Man, we had one, but two was had basically the same problems as three. Too many villains, they weren't played in character, you know what I mean? It wasn't the right actors it, to put in the... Character. I mean, even with the actors, I thought they was alright. But like when you tell him to I, act this way, yeah, and I they just, act that way... I didn't like Toby. Was his name? No, not Toby McGuire. Uh, I forget his name. Uh, uh, not, I always want to call him Eric from yes, <laughs> that Sethi show, uh, but I forget his name. To- no, not Topher Grace. Um, well, we all know who he is. But yeah, anyways, Eric. Yeah, yeah. We, it's all it's Foreman. It's Foreskin. It's whatever you want to call him. But yeah, if you've seen the 70s show, you cannot... You just can't see him as Brock. Like, they did good with Hardy as Brock. Like, I, even though he oh, yeah. doesn't fit the stereotypical image of what Brock was, he's at least big enough. And then, like, he acts in a good way for, like, the Brock they wanted to portray. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because the original Brock is, like, blonde, fucking huge, not necessarily very smart. I mean, he's not stupid, but he's not a genius. He's just kind of an angry jock in yeah. the original comics. And then, you know. He, now he's got a little bit more com- uh, complexity to him. Yeah. Though, I, I thought it was cool as shit they, that, I, and I didn't know this, I learned while I was on the cruise, because they were, like, showing Venom on the cruise, that the, he did the voice of Venom as well. Yeah, that's what they were saying as yeah. well. Which is really How cool. his voice? Yeah. That's really interesting, especially because, like, and I know they did voice modulation for him to get there. Yeah, like that's but obvious. It's still cool but to it, just yeah, kind of keep him yeah. to, do it, to it. And it, I think it also goes along the lines of like Venom very much falls along that thing that that we've talked about with Tom Hardy, where he doesn't really have a specific accent. It's just like this weird made up accent that he's cobbled together for that role. It's never like quite Brooklyn or quite Queens or like Tom he just gets either. like it's an just, accent for that character him. and it works. It's just him. It, it's different every time because you think like I always think like Bane. <sighs> That was the so one fun. I just could not stand, though. I love that one, though. Everybody, it became I... such a thing, which made it so deplorable. But the voice itself, <sighs> like, it, like you said, it wasn't Bane. You know what I mean? Yeah, that wasn't Bane's but voice. Yeah. But it was such a unique that, and then voice. they made him such such this intelligent man and came yeah. up with this scheme. Like, bro, come on, Bane. Bane was... would not come up with the scheme where he would no. just come in there like brute like, force. Like he the whole thing. he can. Don't get me wrong. When, when at Bane at his most sinister, he's a but genius. You, but this but this man this went was, way too far. No, no, no. Yeah, it was like no. Bane's like, all right, I sent things, and then, now me and Batman are alone. Let's get it. But besides, he's not like we're taking down the city. This shit, he's like, no, this is my city now. You, you, and you. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. It was a good series, though. I do, I did like enjoy I said, number they did, two. It was an okay. I did enjoy number one a little bit, because they were, I understand what they were trying to do was more that realistic kind of, yeah. like, if Batman were to be real, this is, how this is would, where that yeah. actually probably happened. Well, and it's And the like, villains, if the villains are real. This, this is how is they would kind be, of be more. And they did a good job, honestly. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I, w- I want more of the supernatural villains. You know, I want to see Mr. Freeze. You want more of your comic y yeah. villains? <laughs> Maybe not Calendar Man, but, you know, let me see Mr. Freeze <laughs> and Poison Man. Ivy and shit. <laughs> which Gotham did a pretty good job at. So there's no. It wasn't like a big sting, but, like, I enjoyed them. I, th- I thought the, the imagining for it, the base, like. A lot of the imagery like steals directly from the comic of the Dark Knight's Returns. I mean, steals, but it's paying homage. Mm-hmm. So, I just started uh, the White Knight as well. Oh, I li- I just read the first it's issue. It's pretty interesting, I liked right? How they did the first issue, bro. Because the way they do it is they really push Batman to that edge of his like 
war on crime, you know what I mean, where he's just at it, and then you have the Joker at what is maybe the Joker's maybe best, but just like the most Jokery. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then suddenly, bam. Like, I just li- I just like the way he kind of came to terms of like. Well, honestly, if you think about it, I didn't really, it wasn't my fault that I'm like this and like all the destruction Batman's done. Oh yeah, he like, got him so good. Like, it's like, like all this money that's being put and in I'm this like, fun. And I'm like, wow, if you really think about it, I guess that way, Batman's kind of, yeah, he'd be fucked up. He'd be fucked <laughs> up a lot. Well, and especially like I said, that one, they make him so, a little crazy, you know, he's Yeah, they made him a little crazy. And then Tim too, like, yeah, when he shoves all them pills down Joker's. Yeah, that was, the, trust me. You they, can they see, push, yeah, Batman's a little, mm, Little little off the off edge. And, it, and don't get me wrong i know it's supposed to be this batman that's like kind of off the rails after the death of i think that's what oh because that's what they're kind of going into yeah that's i haven't figured out yet because yeah they're saying that he doesn't know that if he killed jason todd i think because when they come back he's just gone mm-hmm. they don't know what happened to him so like I this think one's after a little that point right. then that's when he went overboard right as opposed to like he when he knew jason had died and like found him he had like some closure at least and like but if he never found Jason Todd, that would be a whole nother kind of Batman. Yeah, so because Batman's a really complicated mental individual. Mm-hmm. The, have you started the Batman? You, I think you said you had done the Batman Who Laughs. You were reading that one. I just started the miniseries now. Yeah, so I didn't oh, do. Not I, even the, okay. I didn't do the when he first. I guess he got introduced in Teen Titans. But then there's there's some uh, some speculation about that too. That really he, there was another one that came out that same day. And another book. Yeah. So, so really, you they, don't know which you don't one know which, is. Honestly, yeah. is his first and, and realistically, they, they DC still fucks up on that a lot, keeping their like storylines straight from one side to the other. You know what I mean? Where it's like, no, right, and I've been all hearing a lot of people too from the comic store when I just walk in, they'll be like, DC's rebirth started off so 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 great, and then it just kind of went. <laughs> <laughs> as soon, honestly, and I hate to say it, as soon as Doomsday Clock and Dark Knight Metal started coming out. Everything else. Well, Doomsday Clock just because they're just they taking so long with their issues. I haven't even. I'm so disinterested. They just now came that, out with their their newest one, right? Last yeah, week, and I, I haven't even given this shit enough to. I haven't even read the last one. I think because they come out like once every two months. And I've already have. heard some like diehard fans about that in the comic store too, who are complaining about the Watchmen and this one. And... The, the thing is, realistically, it's a decent sequel but it's one of those things where it's like first of all the original watchman was so impactful right like the original i still need to read it i have to trade but it's rough man it. it's it's a rough read because of all everyone the keeps talking like it's one of those ones you, you gotta read though if you read comics the thing is it is but only because of the story so if you've watched the movie and no, know the story the movie. yeah then and then honestly the story is a little different in the book but it's basically but the same the book you'd rather read the book than the, the i movie, i wouldn't you I always do, but yeah. that, but the movies, honestly, Watchmen is one of my favorite comic book movies because oh, okay. of how one how accurate it is to the original story. It's Maybe really it just did hard. So, it bombed so bad because it's, people it's, weren't just they're not they that. weren't ready for the dark yeah, they were, story. They needed the Dark Knight to come first, which you made it even. And like I said, what's really fucked up is I think that's one of Snyder's best fucking films because it pans to his need to use those dark tones. And those heavy storylines with Man. real big influential like uh, imagery, because the Watchmen's all about that. There's tons oh, of imagery. Keep him to those movies, then. Don't let yeah, him touch don't let him Justice touch. League. Or... Like, just keep him to dark. Like, I- I'd love to see a Zack Snyder movie. Or if he did, or if he did or a um, Zack Snyder dark, dark Justice League. Dark Justice League. Could Justice do that League. One just yeah, fine. it would be great. Uh, he would be good with Dead Maybe Man. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. I think he'd be totally okay. Uh, they need Maybe to be a little not. fun. Yeah, just okay. because of the way the new one is, they I feel like they have to keep that for fun. Um, Zack Snyder, honestly, I think he'd do a decent Joker movie. I because even though the Joker needs like we've already seen that the Joker can be dark, so we've could go to either side. We've seen really light Jokers, and we've seen a pretty dark. You know, you've got the gangster psycho Joker. Just so, but, like, but we why, haven't seen the Madman why Joker. Make the Joaquin. I I mean I understand why they make it, but like. You guys already messed up when you made the Suicide Squad joke. Yeah. And now you're just going to be like, okay, now this is just its own standalone film. Has probably nothing to do with, with the any, continuity. Yeah. The th- and that's the thing they're fucking film. up with. The, the, they're like, we're going to do these two universes. It's like, I know you're trying to do your own thing. Can you get your regular universe? Like, thank God Aquaman passed a billion, right? Oh, yeah, right. Thank God, because without that film, the next three DC films do bad no matter what. Because Shazam will do, I think, pretty, really good. It too will, well, but, but now... 
Oh, but this was Aquaman really had had just, done, yeah. yeah, no, I know. This is really giving like a boost for yes. everyone. Be like, because more like, oh, okay, right, I'm ready okay, for now Shazam. I'm ready for Shazam and the more movies to come out, like Wonder Woman 1984 or whatever is coming out. Awesome, looking forward to it. First Wonder Woman was good. Then we had some shit bomb. Then we, you know what it is? <laughs> that's the thing. You can't. You got to be consistent. That's the thing. They they take shots at the Marvel movies, but even the worst Marvel movie is nowhere near as bad as the least worst DC movie. Like mm. not good ones. But if you're counting like on the negative end of the spectrum, they've either got good movie or shit tastic. And Marvel never goes below a five on any like even the movies I hate, not below a five for me. Yeah, the Captain Marvel right now is super hot right now. Which is so interesting like, to me because I'm not that hyped. Oh, for it. she she's hot the comics. Oh, the like, comics. Oh, right. but I'm like yeah, everybody's picking her up like. Well, the new, I up still got to read the new series with her new... Life of Captain Marvel? Yep. Which was good. I actually liked I it. I liked the first... I was going to pick up her new out, series, but... but I was like, ah, I don't know. I just wanted to pick up the mini. It's just too many more books to read anyways. Right. So I, I just so wanted to read this one, one because people were saying that this was the one to change your origin story and stuff. Yep. So I was like, ah, let me pick this up. Let's check it out. Which is the reason I was kind of And they're even the saying that I guess that her mom is supposed to be in this one who is going to be a Cree. There's just, you know, speculation going around that oh, this yeah. is happening. But but I can see it. And there's a lot of like ties in where you can see some of like the childhood imagery flashbacks. That's totally a run back to that because it's a lot. I know from the couple issues I did read that it's a lot about her childhood in Maine or whatever. and Not 100%, but it's like does a lot of flashbacks of like this is why i'm the person i am now kind of thing yeah so i mean really honestly i see i see all these young characters kind of coming up next really because i mean captain america chris evans yeah they're, 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 the thing Jr. is they're three they're movies done. in there yeah they're not gonna do anymore look iron man's been doing this for ten or probably years, yeah, yeah ten years chris evans eight years probably i think now give or take at least yeah. um i mean yeah they're done they don't want to do this somewhere yeah this is not what they want to do for the rest of their life so <laughs> they do other movies like well and the other thing is like all right so how many do we go do that we go to 10 like jason and freddie so then every movie that comes out is a piece of shit because you have 10 different movies yeah. to like so, contrast it against. honestly it's it's time for like i mean even the avengers like i said i'd love to see now we're done once we're done with avengers Endgame, that's it. Now we do Young Avengers yeah, or Avengers I mean, West I mean, Coast or you know what I mean? There's there's, there's a billion so Avengers. There's a teams. lot of talk about or the Loki show, but they're gonna do the kid Loki. Oh, that would show be interesting. Because he's, I think there's already uh, the director said that he's dead. Like he's for, like for sure dead. Like he ain't coming back. Yeah, Loki. they told it. Everyone's all. They kept it. saying I mean, like he's gonna. He's no. He's he's gonna. He's come the back. whole he, disguise. And this is why I couldn't become the whole. Cause like, they, like no, he's for the fish. I'm pretty dead. sure like, they killed him. He's dead. Like he's done for. It. He ain't coming back. I don't, yeah, I don't, back. I don't think. I don't think so he's making it. So there's speculation that they're gonna probably do Kid Loki for the Disney show, and that'd be interesting. They, um, I mean, they could probably go Young Avengers with the movie, or they could go with the TV show because there are people saying that. Uh, Clint, uh, Clint, you know Hawkeye. He might stay on a little bit longer. They want to do a show on him now. I did hear that. I heard the. And they're gonna maybe he can was do the Scarlet Witch and yeah, Scarlet Loki. Witch and I think there's even one for Vision now as well. The thing is, they're very popular characters and it'd be foolish not to capitalize. Kate on Kate Bishop's shows been talked looking. about now. I um, I mean honestly the and the thing is being that they've already have shows both on Netflix and regular television and now Hulu. You know what I mean? They've got shows on every platform it, that they can choose where to seems distribute. seems like though now they're trying to like oh cut. i kind of hope gamora is for the sake of thanos oh yeah loki is done but i do wish hope gamora comes back that would be real yeah i think they'll bring her back i, feel I think like they're they gonna will. bring most There's of the something people back. that's gonna yeah bring her it's back. gotta be a reverse now. the thing is like we really just don't know all right so we what we do know now that the trailers comes out is mostly probably gonna be thanos we don't think we're gonna get any galactus or any crap in there, no, there's there's still a lot of like talk about that, not really. We can even talk about that here in a second about like what you heard, what you heard about the new mutants now, and yeah, Dark and... Phoenix, and then all their other X Men like Gambit now for sure is, and we will talk about that in a second though. But so you were saying about the uh, Infinity Gauntlet, or but we, we, yeah. So we know now that that we're not getting a new villain. This is just probably the reclamation of Thanos three coming together. We might get the new I hero. I feel run. like we will get like a new team or something like a yeah. new, a new something like that. Like I, I said, that maybe they'll do Avengers World. You know, I love that comic. I don't know if you went through that one I at all. That one. It's a, it's one of the two 
2008 or 2012 runs. Like, it's hard to remember, but it's basically like, they're like, we don't got enough fucking Avengers. Everybody Avengers. Everybody. <laughs> you're an Avenger. You're an Avenger. <laughs> like, you think I'm kidding, but it's like 60, 70 people or some shit. <laughs> and you got like Sunfire, Wolverine, Shang-Chi, or... Yeah, it, it gets ridiculous. Oh, that movie, Shang. Uh, oh, yeah, we got a Shang Chi movie there now. There's some there saying which they're do. super. People are always like mur, 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 Marvel diversity, but then it's like the Shang Chi movie is supposed to be like a heavily you know Asian. Like people are always like, oh, this for Black Panther. And it's like, well, that's because that was culturally Black Panther, and so to do a naturally culturally African American cast, you would need people who knew about culturally African American things, mm-hmm. which tend to be people who come from the history so, <laughs> who would you ask an irishman about history probably an irish <laughs> well, um what uh what was i gonna say i just forgot i was gonna say something else though for oh professor hulk oh there's a lot of spe- might... there's a lot of speculation going around this and i got two uh 377s i oh, like the nice. cover it's so nice it's this nice uh green like bright bright green background with the hulk kind of shadow and he's just going like this with like a nice big Hulk and pink leather. Well, because wasn't wasn't that the and that's the Hulk first the... appearance. Well, I kind of looked through the issue now, and I was like, I had the green. Well, they're in I guess Bruce Banner's head. I didn't really read the whole way through. It's kind of a little bit. It said they were in his. I guess the mindscape of Bruce Banner. And you could see the green Hulk and the gray Hulk. Yeah, I guess this is the Hulk. issue where they kind of fuse their minds and become Professor Hulk. So there's a lot of speculation now that that Professor Hulk now will show up into this end game. I wonder if they might go with the more modern version of Professor Hulk that they did before Seeger Wars. Remember they did Dr. Green or whatever? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it, that was like, yeah. Early, it was very... Early, yeah, I seen those. It only was only like 10 issues, right? I yeah, think it was not that long. It's not even that long, though. Because, one, because you can't have the Hulk be that smart and still be able to be angry. That was the one thing about Professor Hulk. At least he had, like, the moderation between the strength and the intelligence. But Dr. Green was the upgraded version of that where he had all of the Hulk's anger and all of Banner's intelligence at the same time. Which, it was, I mean, it was cool for a couple chapters because he would make Hulk things and, mm-hmm. like, stuff. Yeah, there was a other... I guess they were talking to, like, the Marvel people. They have, like, a board, you know? Oh, yeah. And on this board, they have, like, all the characters they want to do. Ones that been talked about really on the high list is Nova. Oh, that would be cool. For sure, Nova's. We the know Nova's is, coming. They they want him on there. They've been talking. They the even is, originally when Guardians liked his... Galaxy came out, he was supposed to be one of the yeah. original people, and then they took him out. Yeah, it's it's a little rough. The thing about Nova is one, the whole Nova Core thing. How are you gonna tie that in without going off board? And then I don't know. I would have liked to see Nova before. I would have liked Nova to be the Captain Marvel esque character. Not obviously he couldn't because he's not powerful enough to be. Mm. Honestly, Captain Marvel really isn't on that power level to be fighting thanos either but she's at least closer to that and i mean if you do uh if you do like nova with the full nova force and the world mind or whatever then maybe i don't know well there's that and then uh so there's been talk about miss marvel as well now yeah as there's been talk about riri williams now but they really do want to sub in this new generation which i don't blame them i mean after a while you got to try new characters even in the comics like i said how many wolverine like i love the new wolverine return blah, blah but honestly it's just, just another the wolverine new story. return which one return of wolverine and oh it's that, cool, that but, little mini series yeah there? and it, but it's just another wolverine comic man there's nothing groundbreaking about it it's not like there's the whole claw thing but it's boring honestly and yeah it's like you've done however many years of wolverine now like now i want to see more x23 stuff and maybe it's a uh, honey badger stuff here's another one from my key collector guy he says disney plus is reportedly developing another origin series this time based on nebula and gamora hmm. his relationship with one another and the events that led to their feelings towards thanos It'd be interesting i don't know how they would do it you know what i mean but so there's that speculation. And then, like I said, there's the kid Loki one. Disney Plus has My budget thing is, is 100 million for Loki. Thor's son of Asgard is a good series to look out for your young versions of the main players. These are just speculations. But usually, like I said, he's been on the ball with everything, especially with the Young Avengers one. He they had he had already speculated this like a long time ago that they're going to start. They're going to do the Young Avengers. And just just last three days ago, 
another post rumor came out saying, "Hey, Young Avengers is being talked about." Blah, My blah, thing blah. is, they have so much to talk, but the, especially the TV shows worry me more than the movies because the movies are like big productions with big payouts, but TV shows are usually not. They're like consistently medium payouts with big downfalls if you don't get a good. <laughs> And so the bigger thing I'm worried about is they have all of these planned series, right? But the actors who are in them aren't small actors. Like, you've got Tom Hiddleston, you've got... I mean, the Vision one, maybe, but more so, like, uh, the Loki one, I'm thinking, like, that. it's either going to be an... Ex- you you got to make sure they're in love with the character and they're committed to the idea, like, like Ryan Reynolds was with Deadpool, or they're going to have to get, like, a huge payout to keep them running on those shows. And so, for example, like on the Nebula Gamora, when I'm thinking, all right, so you can, you get Nebula and Gamora, right? Mm-hmm. But you can't really do that series well without getting Thanos, too. So that's three giant, like, you don't have to have him in every episode, but you have to have him show up at some point. You know what I mean? And the same for those two actors. You can kind of vary, but at the end of the day, the paychecks for these guys are going to get kind of crazy once you start bringing in more big actors and trying to keep them on. I would understand if they're like limited series. Like if you're thinking like one season, two seasons. Yeah, they don't have they, to be long. Well, they, they don't have, have to be, be two, five but, seasons. But you don't want you don't want to do like a Firefly where you get one season everybody loves and then you get canceled anyway at the end of it. I would like if they just did two seasons and then that was it and then they were able I'd be to fine, wrap it but, up in two. Right, but are they going to wrap it up? And that's, like I said, the problem with Firefly is it's not self Oh, that one's yeah, that one yeah for sure. I've heard. But, and most series end up that way. Like <clears throat> most series don't have the foresight to like plan their end game out or like have it prepared. So then they end up with ten seasons, but no good mm-hmm. ending. And there, there's tons of series that do that. Like especially and, uh, comic series do that a lot. Or animated. There's also series. reports saying that Tom, who plays Loki, Tom Hiddleston, is that saying Hiddleston? I think Hiddleston? Or Hiddleston or something, something like that. Supposed to be narrating the life of his. See now series. that would be. But that's why they're saying life. it's going to be Kid Loki because if you're just narrating, then it's, then it's a lot be... cheaper. Yeah, it's going to be more doable with that. As and even the Nebula Gamora stuff, like you can get the young <clears throat> actors, right? But yeah. for the young Nebula Gamora, but then the big one comes with Brawn. My yes. my other thing is I think a Loki series would do well. I'm still not convinced about the Scarlet Witch series doing too well. As much as they're good characters, I don't know if they're that popular to run their own series. We'll see. I don't know. It depends. I guess like. I guess it really, also depend to... on this movie. Yeah, also, we'll see how. That I don't know. I don't know how on. popular they, they currently are. You know what I mean? With Iron Man and Captain America and Thor. And Ant-Man, even, you can kind of gauge people's interest level because they have their own solo excursion. Or at least sometimes, like, combo excursions. You know, Spider-Man kind of combo. But Well, I would love if they did, like, something like they when they did Tom King's Vision run. Oh, yeah, that, that would be awesome. Like, see something like that. Like, that would be awesome. Right, but the... Right, you got to still get people interested in going oh, yeah. and watching. And that's what I'm more concerned about. Not if it would be good, but if people would oh, be interested. Yeah. Right. Because even, like, all right, anything, Spider-Verse. But I think, like, any Marvel fan would just, like, I don't care, I'm going to watch it. I'm going like, to see I think it. it's <laughs> half and half, though, because I still have people who love Marvel, don't watch the Thor movies. Or only, like, so my mom yeah. only watches the Thor movies because oh, okay. she likes Chris Yeah, Emily. like, I do know some people who, like, yeah, I watch all the Marvel stuff. I don't care what. I watch and all I do, <laughs> And I do, but not because I'm, like, one, because we can do this, obviously. I yeah. want to try to watch everything. But also because I just enjoy the medium. It wouldn't matter if it was Marvel or DC. I watch all the DC shit, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? As much as I can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and all the other, other like, not even comic from Marvel and DC stuff. Like oh, yeah. The, the Boys now coming out, which I want to check out. looks so good. There's a lot of really good. Um, I've been keep trying to keep up on, like, that Osola one. That one. Came out. Dead, Deadly Clash just came out. I haven't checked. Uh, that. I gotta weeks, get a couple. No, two days ago. I've been... Uh, My friend behind. loves it. He said, like, uh, he's reading the comics, he's, and he said that it's exactly like the comics, and he's like, oh, it's so good. That. So, yeah. You oh, know. that was that was one thing I did start. It's not necessarily comic book related, but I started it because I was on the cruise and I had no internet, so I just started reading the Game of Thrones books <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> I'm done with book two now. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm a pretty quick reader, but <laughs> but yeah, and I'm just like, the reason I hadn't watched is because like I got a bunch of warnings about the show. It was just like, don't watch. There's all this like perversion, and I'm just like, all right, well let me read the book, I guess. And I just read the book. I'm like, there's nothing in here. It's all just fighting and politics, and bullshit. 
I mean, it's good. It's a good it's story. It's but... nudity. And it's not even. Oh, he they like just half of the like, show. Uh, it's it's like, bro. It, and I don't know why they would have to do that. I guess for the you know sex sales, but like literally, they like because I've read I've read show. racy books. Like I've read the erotic novels or whatever that get released. Like, <laughs> they had good stories, all right. But there was there was like a dark watcher series, and it, the stories were good. And then you just kind of breeze and then through it's the like, sex oh, parts. And then we're like, mm, and then we yes. get into this part. Which is funny because I feel like that's such a woman thing. Because like as a guy, I'm just like, whatever, just, uh, get to the story. I don't know why. I don't give a you, shit about. You, you caressed pin- her, so what? Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> it was like, all right, yeah, finish jerking off and let's go fight. Because that's literally what I give a shit about. But also because like the writing is like really flowery and pillowy and like drawn out okay. twelve pages of bullshit. You know but what there's I mean? nothing like that in game. No, of fuck no, dude. Maybe like half a page is like. Of like, and don't get me wrong. They describe sex, but it's literally it's like, oh, like three paragraphs. He humped her. He's done. It's like that's it. That's it. Fucking he bit her titty. Bam. Fucking done. Oh, you could tell gosh. that a man wrote it. How about that? Like, oh, I don't know if that's sex, no, but that's bad. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. It's real. It really is. Like, if I w- I want to pull up an excerpt and just literally no experts. Because no <laughs> it's literally like that. It's that's it. It's just like bam. Fucking like five sentences done there, there are some that are a little longer but it's not 20 minutes of a scene or like this whole fucking scene no it's just like no it's side part it's part of the story it's not the story well i mean let's see what else was there then oh well i guess i wanted to talk about the new mutant stuff huh oh yeah so there's talk about it getting delayed now and then again <laughs> and then now now there's even more talk of it becoming a hulu series now the thing is like i i just don't know how that would go i mean it wouldn't be the worst it's a little shitty for they, the marketing that, that's department. just what they that was what they see i guess and that's what they want to do <laughs> i guess they, they saw it they're like nah this isn't a movie this it's not a movie it's not gonna May, work it, and it might also just be because their series are doing so well i mean you look at Look at every series that's going on. Even Agents of Shield, they're getting another season. You got oh, Punisher. That's good. You got Punisher just really season think two. Punisher will be this is their last one. I I think and I wasn't then, that. Then the Disney's gonna cut them off too. Yeah, I think so, and less so even because of the Disney thing. But man, I, I was like, not no, that I really impressed. feel like Disney's just trying to home in on everything and just like oh they are. Let they're me take my property back here. Let oh, yeah. me take my property. Well, because back that's here. the whole thing now is and with I all got the Disney systems. Plus, and I'm just gonna. Which and if I, I want to, I'm not gonna put Daredevil back in here. We'll just start other shit. <laughs> yeah, no, literally, they, they're like, "Fuck it, we don't care." And honestly, I just don't want them over there. <laughs> I really think it, it is because of that. It's all contract shit. People are like, "Oh, this," but Daredevil was like the number four show on Netflix when it got pulled. If yeah. you go look at the stats, it's it was literally that was the number four most watched show on Netflix when it got pulled off. Which that's not a sneezable number, you know what I mean? As much as people are like, "Oh, TV views," yeah, but streaming is the future it, that's why everybody's switching on to the thing i'm surprised they don't just pitch in and do a mass you stream bull crap where it's like all right you just pay for this and you get access to everybody it's television but you know they gotta have competition they're, they're, that's the one thing you can't mess with them yeah they're the biggest company they're like god damn it my, my you shall not pass that's what they're gonna say <laughs> You shall pay, though. <laughs> Fucking, well, but no, that that was... I don't know. I think they'll, they're doing good. You got the Runaways and the other ones. Like I said, I started watching <sighs> season two of Punisher. I'm not... I haven't started it yet. I haven't and... started it. I've been watching Lemony Snicket. How's I, that? I like me some Lemony Snicket. I want to do... I want to read I that I like one. it because I just... It's... It is kind of like the books, like the way the narration's done. Oh, that's cool. And then I like who they got... Uh, you remember the original Tick? Uh, oh, yeah, actor, yeah, 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 yeah. They got him to do the narrating. Really? Yeah, and I like his. He's like yeah, he's got a good narrator. voice. Yeah, yeah, for that. So I was like, yeah, it's good. Oh, they also have uh, Neil Patrick Harris, right? Is Snake it? Is yeah, it? and he does. Uh, he does actually a pretty good job. Like, I, I people I, are, I like, like giving shit, but he's I like a good Jim Carrey. He was good, but like honestly, he, he, yeah. he was too wonky and not sinister enough. I think. Yeah, and this one's kind of like that. He's like more like sinister, but like towards the end now, you can kind of see he's getting a little bit more. Because I, I I'm just, like I'm still watching it, but. Um, I heard good things. Aren't they getting another season or something? No, this is the last one because this finishes the the books, the books after oh, this. Cool. I just knew that they had gotten more than. Yeah, this yeah. thing is the third part or whatever. They That's cool though. They don't call it seasons; they call it third Parts. part. <laughs> but, to be fair, know, that the books, um, I think they're all like it's twelve books. I think. Yeah, they were a decent amount. 
but they were very short. So I mean, yeah, they're sure not they very long. Yeah, they wouldn't have lost it too many seasons. So. Which is what I was wondering how Preacher was doing because I knew that if it was still going, they had to like jump off of somewhat of the story. Well, order. Preacher had been enjoying still too. I remember. Well, mm, I think last season I didn't like too much. I, I think I'm I only remember. still like halfway through season one. But oh it's really? Good. Oh, because you had some things about it, didn't you? Uh, there were a couple, but more so like I just. You didn't like the time jump, right? And I told you that that that's what they already kind of mentioned. They're like, yeah, we're gonna do a time. We can't start from. It was it was that, and then like there were little things. It wasn't bad. There was just also like other shit going like. So when I started trying to watch Preacher, Lucifer had like just come out with a new season, and I was catching up. Oh, and yeah, they just finally started with Netflix. Yeah, yeah, they did another, which is good. I'm really happy because I enjoy the shit out of Lucifer. Honestly, it's one of the best. Uh, to be fair, it's DC, but it's DC. No, is it Vertigo? fuck is it yeah dc vertigo yeah Mm -hmm. but it's a great series and it follows very closely the kind of ideas and reflections of a lot of the comics lucifer like lucifer is just like this hurt child basically you know what i mean he's just like this fucking injured son Hmm. that's which is you know it's it, it always made good sense to me and like the character was played well in both comic and you have to screen. watch that one. There was that one, and then yeah, I like Preacher. Like I said, maybe I just didn't read the comic, and I just didn't. Feel I, too... the, the the thing is, like I said, I had started like on the one episode, and it was like th- there were good things too. That's the thing; it wasn't bad. I just didn't have that big interest to keep watching through, and I just kind of think I got a need to get to the more interesting parts because the starting parts are not always the best. Yeah, it's uh, it gets like it gets out of there. Like the story gets. I think that's why I like it because the story is just really out of like it's wow, pretty okay. crazy even when it gets to the part where it starts to explain like hey god left heaven and like yeah some religions will find that very much <laughs> was talking and about i think that story. was and i think that was why is because the series starts slower than the comics because they hit that part like right away in the comics they're like even almost before you see the stuff with like was it jesse they're like where's god motherfucker i don't understand it's the whole world's so fucking there's fun. there's this yeah there's the scene i think one of the episodes where it happens like that and there yeah it just gets like that and you're just like you're just like what where did he go it, i'm like why did he leave why would he leave <laughs> if you guys that's why i'm out of here you guys all suck and then it just gets even weirder because he's like a well, dog yeah. and then like yeah, like I said, that's why I was like, okay, this is a very and that out, was yeah they they made some different kind of looks, but it's really show. it's interesting, like you said, because they did keep a lot of the same shit, like the uh what's his name, it's, it's the Saint of Murder, yeah, the, and, yeah, the Saint of Murders, yeah, which that was an awesome concept and it was a cool, it was one of the best parts about the original comic, so I'm glad they kept him. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like his story. How uh, that's how I got past. I think that's how I ended up getting through half of the season two was through with him. Oh, him? Yeah. Cause he's just a badass. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. And then, uh, well, so, I mean, we've been talking about the new mean stuff and then, so what do we think about X-Men and, and fantastic four? Cause they've already been talking I about would really them showing like up. Them, why? I mean, why not just make it, but work. they can't do it yet though. No, no, it needs another movie or, you know, even the next movie could do it, but it's how you do it. Right. It's all right. End of infinity wars some bullshit they find the weapon x facility or let's you know the baxter building is un, you know has just been or you know some portal opens up in yeah, the middle of new do, york um i mean they could do like scarlet witch and like i mean she's already in the x-men and they can kind of like involve her in they, it somehow, yeah the problem or... is merging the two characters from movie to movie because they have wait do they have the x-men scarlet witch already or did they not really show her Problem oh, is they have X Men Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch and Fox. No, they yeah. didn't, they didn't do one for. I it. didn't think they it did. Was just Quicksilver. The pro- right, and the thing is they don't. They would. That's the other thing is I don't think they combine any portion of the old X Men or Fantastic. Four. They would have to reinvent. Oh no no, no no yeah they're gonna wipe the board clean yeah. of everything. They're but gonna, the the thing like you said it's they need all to about, because that that's all oh, yeah. messed up. The thing is is all about how you introduce them right. So like I my thing is it's probably got to be. At this point, with the things we're going, it's either going to be Guardians, which I doubt because it's already in the run. You know what I mean? And it's also on breaks. So it's... Well, t- For, it looks like quite a while still because I still haven't found anybody. No, I probably will stay that way too, especially if uh, Batista doesn't come back for his role, which I think he said he wasn't going to. 
Yeah, he said he wouldn't unless they used the script. But then I heard too they weren't going. Or no, I heard they were going. To, I thought though. they were considering using the so script. So he said that he would still keep on if they would at least use his script. Which is, I mean, the thing is, is I can't fault him either way. What I will say is, contractually, he's obligated to do it or take a fine. That's yeah, that's he, just if the he thing. wants to. Yeah, yep, that's go. and that's how it works. He'll take the fine and it's his morals, really. If he yeah, wants to fine. believe. <laughs> the problem is that's really going to blacklist him at other companies. Even even though he did it to that one company, any company now he goes to will have to take the consideration that he'll yeah. just cop out of his thing if he doesn't agree with with the morals of the movie. Which is by you know, there's plenty of artists who do that, you know, and still get work. I think. Uh, there's a couple of them, uh, not Freeman, but uh, Nicholson. I think he has like a lot of writers where he's just kind of like I, he's often like "fuck you guys." Like, just sometimes that happens. Can't work with the people. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it happens. People, sets, areas, concepts. Like, there's mm. some movies that just are fucked up, man. You don't want to be a part of it anymore. Uh, like fucking Human Centipede. I would have immediately been like, "fuck this contract." Did you watch all of them? Nope. I didn't even finish watching the first one. Really? Nope. I watched one, this, this two, just wasn't, and three. I just wasn't interested. I was just like, all right, he's crapping in his mouth. I. It's not, I don't know if it was that stuff. I just, I think it was more like, I wanted to watch it because like, I can't believe they did this movie and they're showing it on the screen. That, that right. <laughs> That's just, all I really wanted to see it for. I and just, just be like, bro, I can't believe I watched that movie. Is that, no. <laughs> this reminds me of when we used to watch the shitty Netflix movies, fucking Thanks Killing and shit. <sighs> that's that's the only reason why I would say I watch those movies. I just I can't. And I was a hor- just, and I'm a horror fan, so I'm like, eh, let's let's, uh, let's just watch them. I guess just, let's just see. I, I can see it. it's just like I got. I always got. You would more. not like the third one though, because the third <laughs> one's really bad. Because there's one scene right where the the there's a lady pregnant, right? And she gets out. Of the, she finally gets free. She gets out, and the baby, bro, like the baby, he's no not cool because the baby just pops out. This lady gives no shits. She's like, turn on the car, boom, puts the grass, the baby dead, and just leaves. I'm like, oh my gosh, bro, I can't believe I just watched this right now. <laughs> so bad. Like just oh that my. sounds and terrible. Stevie, Stevie still remembers that because my friend Stevie went to go see, it, <laughs> and it's like. Anytime you, you, I bring it up, he's like, "Bro, the only thing I can remember on that movie is just that lady that picked preg- that pregnancy." I'm like, mm, "Can't do it." <laughs> like, yeah, that was bad. That Fucking was terrible. That Don't was get me wrong; scene. I've seen worse. Like, what was that one? Ir- or was it reversible? Or irreversible? The one my friend had, my cousin made me watch. Terrible. Reversible. It's like a cult classic one. It's based on like a rape, but. It's stupid. Oh. I call it spinning dick pictures. Oh, okay, never mind. It sounds like the house on the left, which is pretty much no, uh, yeah. Which is really good though. Still though, the way and don't get me wrong, Irreversible is like that's the thing. It's it's not a good horror movie. And it's not a good thriller. It just makes you uncomfortable to watch the film. Like, that some I, people like those too. Yeah, they right. Like but those. I just don't know what to disturb. Yeah, just dis- I just don't know no, what to categorize no, 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 no. that genre. It's, yeah, I know. It's, yeah, it's more of like uh, yeah, disturbing. More of I guess disturbia. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, because there's there's and there are good there are ones even like that that I enjoy. Oh, they're like that a snuff film. Really? Kind of. I mean, even this one's. I mean, this one is snuff kind films of snuff more filming. like you kill them and then yeah. yeah the or it's film. actually being built. Yeah, yeah it's but, like an actual. That's the definition but but the snuff film has now just been kind of coined for whenever film kills somebody or, <laughs> that, or that's what the film but i don't know like i said it's just there's different you know you've got thrillers screamers uh many different defined genres and sub genres now and that one i don't know the name of but it there's plenty of them and i think i can't think of another one off the top of my head oh uh clockwork orange yeah i like that one though yeah i like clockwork and orange. so that's a I guess I guess it is kind of psychological thriller, but that one in the same way it's not. Like there's nothing thrilling about it. It's just disturbing on a yeah. very like mental base level, which yeah. is good. I enjoy good. Clockwork I like Orange. Like, like yeah. it's one of my it's one of my favorite That one or I guess the I don't know, would you maybe Green Inferno you can consider one of those kind of It kinda does. Because when I went into that movie theater, people were not happy to see that movie. No. And I and, was like and my friend, me and my friends are laughing. The, the, they, some people are just not having it. They're like, this 
They didn't even know what they were coming into. I was like, bro, you should have knew what this movie's about. I was like, it already told you. Hey, some people just want to go in and not know. Sh- man, Eli remember. Roth even said he was basing this almost on the the Cannibal uh, whatever movie that came out like yep. in the 70s. Yeah, he said that he was trying to base it on that one that got banned or whatever. So Yeah, did you hear that story? It's pretty funny. The director even had to go to yeah. court because, the, they thought- because legally the guys, the actors, they all signed the contract to say that they that they could not like say anything like they were here or alive or anything to keep the illusion that they were actually dead right or and so you had to go and to they court, had yeah. to legally break the contract come to court say no bro without we just faked it we're okay we're here don't put them in jail, <laughs> don't, don't, don't throw them in jail. it was all it fake is. it was all fake that's funny as hell though because in... it's been banned too like that movie, oh yeah like in, in europe they won't places. see that movie in no. europe or... it's a really good horror movie i mean it's not like it's one of those ones, and that's all right, and that's why I say because there are movies that are disturbing and are There's also another thrillers one too from horrors. Europe too that's kind of like that. Because I I looked up like the, the list French, of most. Oh, like, there's a lot. It's a French one. Yeah, it's, and it's like where they're eating. Sh- is that it? Where they're eating shit, right? No, no, right, no that one's There's one. one, bro, and I'm like, I didn't watch the whole movie. I just watched the scenes that they kept talking about because I've I've seen a list of like the most horrifying you know horror movie disturb disturbing movies right and the cannibal one was on the list there and then oh yeah there's i'd a seen this like foreign movie where like yeah they were like eating shit and i was like it was bad bro like yeah was, that's like, it this one's not that bad but it's still really bad like i said i call it we call it reverse uh spinning dick cameras because it's it it's like a story played in reverse Huh. It, it's interesting. You'd, you'd have to see it. Let's check it out. Uh, see. Maybe, it's pretty maybe fucked maybe up, we'll though. I, yeah, it. I was like, if, I yeah, I, unless you really have a night where you're like, I want to watch a fucked up bad movie. <laughs> really walk the, don't, I have a night with my, some of my cousins. That's literally what it is. Stupid movie Go night. Watch, shitty have movie you guys night. seen Old Boy? Uh, I don't think. Maybe watch, they have. Watch though. Old they Boy. Watch and then you're going to be at the end. You're going to be like, nah, bro. No, nah, bro. That <laughs> the, the, no, it, that was it, the most fucked. No. No. Why did that happen? <laughs> You no, you got uh, tell them uh, that tell them about that movie and if they I'll haven't see. seen it, you guys need to watch that. There's and a couple. Either, have you seen? I'd Sleep watch Away the too? watch the newest one because there's the Asian version and then there's the like the English version. I'd mm-hmm. probably watch the English version. I think it's even still on Netflix, but I'd watch that movie. It, I'll just start off a little bit. It has this guy who they locked up in the room. He's been locked up in there for like years already, and then all of a sudden they said, "Okay, here you can go now. You're free." And then he meets this girl and then he gets into the shit and you just got to watch it. Like the ending, just like, you're like, bro, they Gosh. fucked him. They fucked that guy. Oh, <laughs> There's this one my dad keeps telling me to watch. He's like, it's really fucked up, which is coming from him. I usually have to stop because he doesn't say too much stuff is really fucked up. But he says like the start of it is like this girl hooked up. She's trying to get away. So she like knocks one out. But then she wakes up and they like cut her fucking arm off and shit and sewed it back shut. It was... She's like, and then they came and like was drilling holes in it. I was like, ah, fuck. Then he's like, yeah, and this is how the movie started. And I was like, this is how the movie started. <laughs> I was just like, ah, oh, right. That can only get better from there, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would recommend watching Old Boy just to see. I'll, like, I'll see you and check it out. I'll put it on our yes. list of shitty movies. There's not uh, movie, but uh, is there anything else you want to cover? I mean, we could talk about at least with the upcoming movies coming up, right? So we have uh, Captain Marvel right in March. Yep. Which I'm looking forward. The scrolls have already been confor- confirmed, obviously. Which I honestly would have preferred if they hadn't. That would keep the mystery alive. But we kind of knew when he, she punched the grandma. We, yeah. we we called it. And I mean, honestly, the, people, the scrolls are her thing. We'd have called it even before. Yeah. So there's that. And then um, when does Spider Man come out? That's a good question. I mean, you know, let's see. I should, there's I should. a lot of good things I'm just super excited for this year. Two thousand. It says this year, man. Oh no, that's just one thing. When, when is? Yeah, the... it should be this year. Far from home. Uh-huh. 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 Well, oh, right. July. Alright, bring out the list, huh? Yep. yep. That's true. Movies. Was there any other Movies. people that said anything? Not yet, no. Let's make sure Six, my phone's five, dying. Most so anticipated movies of 2016. 19. 19. <laughs> it was just like 16. If it'll load them. Well, what, what comics have you been reading now? Because I've been kind of... I've been a little... Finally. I'm behind because I was on the cruise. The so last so random like, issue was so good. Did you read it where like, they're in the dining room? No, I haven't gotten to that he one yet. his brother. Nah, I still got to get there. Uh, that was a good scene. The Upside Glass. 
That one looks pretty good, but I've also heard some not so good things. Yeah, I've heard some not good, so good <laughs> things about glass. But then again, I mean, not from anybody I personally know. So that's I've, it's all been an, afloat, you know what I mean? Bad shit. So I don't usually trust those ones. Serenity, which no idea. When men want water, or what men want, which is interesting. Lego Movie Two. Yeah, I <laughs> say it's excited for that one. Alita Battle Angel didn't look too bad. Uh, yeah, that one I've looks okay. Couple. Happy Death Day yeah, Two. That you. one looks actually not too bad. I kind of like the way I like that they're the going original with it. One. I, I like the original one. I think the second one would be good. That one. Uh, the Train Your Dragon, huh? That yeah, that's, there's that's actually that's a same. lot of really good shit coming out. Captain mm-hmm. Marvel. Uh, us, us looks good. Did you see that one? No, I haven't seen. That. Oh, yeah, we'll show you that trailer later if you want, or we can put it on. We'll just the... put it on at the end, I guess. Yeah, uh, that Grey one's Hound. good. You'll like that one. Where'd you go, Bernadette? I'm not even that concerned. Dumbo. Dumbo. Oh, I'm. This just still looks so sad. It's too real. It's too. Sad. It's too real. It's too sad. <laughs> what is that one? Shazam. Oh yeah, there we go. Shazam. Oh shit, they got the pet Damn. cemetery. I forgot. They're close with Zachary Levi at RT. Uh, Rooster Teeth. Oh no, oh. That's RT. this is Rotten Tomatoes, but RT is closed with them, so they probably got an exclusive Hellboy. Hellboy is what I'm excited There's for too, though. Pet Cemetery. You know, you know what's funny about this one? Somebody was telling me, uh, Ron, per- no, not Ron Perlman. Je- I forget his name now already. Um, but ge- the guy who put- David Harbour. There we go from uh, Stranger Things. This is the sheriff who's playing Hellboy now. I guess he was watching the, the trailer, right? The newest one, and you know, I kind of <laughs> looked a little. Some people are complaining because they kept telling like us, oh, it's going to be dark. It's going to be scary, gory. Right. And people are complaining, well, it doesn't really look dark. Dark or, or gory. It looks kind of yeah. funny. You guys are trying to do funny. or, And then he's watching the trailer, and he's just having his reaction. And the Everything through the whole video, he just keeps saying, oh, that was cool and all, but this movie's really, really dark, guys. And then, <laughs> and then and he would just keep going. And he would just say the same thing. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. But again, guys, I'm playing this movie's really gory and dark. <laughs> like, through the whole thing. And I was like, oh, this is cool. I feel like they're going to do a 180 on this. Or they're going to play. They're, play they, they're trying to make cool. it look like That would be cool. And I'm, I actually like when they do that. You know what I mean? Well, who else did that? There was another one that did that very well. Where they were, like, making it super serious. Trailer and you got a new joke. Oh, Tropical Sorry to bother Thunder. you. Tropical Thunder, I felt like, did that. That was, was yeah, I did feel like that was. They were like, da, 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 and then you got in, it's like, all right, they're filming a movie. <laughs> I wanted to see them in an action film. Yeah. They're still masses. Yeah. Oh, no, what was the other one? The one with the rednecks where they did the same thing? The Blue Com- the Comedy Tour? They had a very similar thing. I can't I remember. Know, but yeah, yeah. They, they did the same thing. So, I, f- I feel like I really have high hopes for Hellboy now. <laughs> I got really. the curse of ya- La Llorona. <laughs> yeah, that one actually does not look too bad if you watch I'm, the trailer. I have seen Well, and it's also being done by uh, Michael Chavez. Oh, so okay. There we go. They actually have a little bit of a thing. Avengers. Godzilla, right? Oh, uh, coming out. Wick. Oh, did you see the trailer for John Wick? I did not. I gotta watch I gotta we'll see it too. I gotta that. see that one. We'll, we'll do that one. Ugly Dolls looks pretty good that for one the did. Sun. There's John Wick 3, uh, Rocket Man. That yeah, one that looks too bad. Uh, Aladdin. Aladdin. I haven't really seen too much to know either we'll way. See. King of the Monsters. Yeah, that's yeah. the Godzilla one. Did you see the new you? one on Netflix? They released the new the Godzilla Part yeah, 3 for the anime. Yeah, it was weird to me. They're, though, like, they're doing a very different interpretation. That's for sure. Like, the third one for sure, like, really went, like, sideways. Like, so one whole, and two was good, but, like, the third was like, whoa, like, you guys... Wait, like this don't even feel like a Godzilla film. Right <laughs> now that we got fucking Gamora coming out of the sky with glowing and Godzilla tendons. can't even touch him now because he's mind controlling him and he's from another universe. But then he yeah, I, I think uh, it's all and he's God. And they're all trying to explain it. And I'm like, bro, it just flies over my head. Just, just, oh, <laughs> well, they still have the Dark Phoenix in the trailer. Yeah, that's for still it, coming so. out. They said, but I, I but really, it might be pushed. Honestly, yeah. I just don't have hopes it. for it because it looks like a cast that just does not look very over over excited yeah. to do. You, you gotta know, be ready to play those and like I put want, yourself. In yeah, the I want my actors to be like they want to know the history of their characters or who they're right. Playing, they read the comic and, read and some, see and get some. Like, that's one of the best things about it. They had the one who was, like, DC training for roles, and they're in the gym, and then it's Marvel training for roles. Comic book, comic book, comic book. Like, realistically, if you want to get into character, you need to know and understand your character. And I think a lot of the... Most of the films that do bad are either films where the actor is not encompassing his character 
or the film itself doesn't work with mm-hmm. the character. You know what I mean? Like the Wolverine's Origins or Thor 2, just not really... I like Thor 2. Yeah, they're just not there. You know what I mean? The, that's not... Whereas Thor 1, even though maybe not the best story or the thing... The characters invested in the story is yeah, yeah they, you could tell that they were into it. So that's right, the thing. and even Paul Rudd with Ant Man, you know what I mean? He plays an excellent Ant Man. He just like encompasses him. the idea that Ant Man is this funny dad, at least the second Ant Man, and he really yeah, is. He is. You know, that's how he, yeah, I that's see him in the always. books. Is this kind of jokes even too. even his most recent one where he's this kind of down on himself guy for. Because remember there, he did the whole yeah, betrayal yeah, thing, yeah. yeah, and then he's had that uh, security company. And, yeah, but it was that, just there was some history where he kind of messed up, right? right? And so it's just like that's fine because that and that even matches the current comic version of Grady because he did the whole Secret Empire part or he was uh, mm-hmm. betrayal or whatever. So he's been like I he even ran off with the Guardians of the Galaxy to space to get away from that shit. So I mean it's it's really good and I I don't know that. The, the, the encompassing of the character means a lot. And I feel like a lot of time in the X-Men movie, because they have so many different characters in the casts and this, the lineup of the X-Men, you can't focus in on any of them. I'm just excited to see what Marvel is going to do with the cast and who they're going to put. Men in Black and... International. The only thing about that one, have you seen the trailer? I have not. Oh, actually. okay. Well, there's a couple there's of things. Yeah, we got some trailers see. to watch. I yeah, told you I'm, I'm behind one. on a lot of them. Shout oh, out. yeah. Child's Play. Let me tell you about this one. So... I don't, I don't know if you ever knew, but when they first were going to come out with Child's Play, it wasn't supposed to be this uh, serial killer who did voodoo and went into the doll. Right. At first, it was going to be like kind of like a robot doll that kind of goes out of control right. and starts mm-hmm. killing things and stuff. That was the main concept of the original. And then they changed it up, I guess, after a while. And now they're kind of bringing it back. So the main voice actor, he will not be... For this one, he's not gonna voice Chucky. I'm all right with that. As much as it's not the good guy no more, it is a a buddy now. Huh? And they've already been. I don't know if you've seen it, but they've been advertising it like funny. Like they've been doing like little buddy advertisements. Twenty nine or thirty nine ninety nine. You know, get your buddy dog. He does this. He does that. (laughs) The way they're trying to advertise is really cool. But anyways, the way they're gonna do this now is they're gonna do uh, like it's an AI. Like they're super intelligent. Uh, buddy dolls and everything and oh, the, the ai goes out of control and it starts killing, killing people. people that'll be interesting so i was like that. okay this i'll watch that it's a little different like i said it's not the same old chucky movie but it's you similar. can't do the same thing over and you over can't. again though. It, even this all right so we got toy story 4 coming out i just don't I'm gonna love it though i'm gonna, I'm gonna love, love it because it. <laughs> it's from my childhood but i'm also objectively knowing that this is probably their last shot at a really good toy story movie because after this I just don't know what kind of concepts they're going to hit that they haven't crossed in the first ones. I feel like they're just going to keep going at it and they're just going to now go with the little girl story. They could go for another three like they did with... I mean, they can, but like it's the same thing with... I mean, in Star Wars, maybe it's not the best because that's actually one that did get six movies of decent quality. But even then, the second prequel, because it's being constantly compared to the other three movies that preceded it was always getting shots taken at it. Even if the movies were good or better, like my, I personally think episode three is one of my favorite all time star Wars movies, just hands down. Mm-hmm. I love that darkness seeping in and that, you know what I mean? That's, it's very poetic. I think that's everyone's favorite, right? This Emperor Strike Back. Oh no. I'm oh no, you're talking about the three. Uh, three. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, Revenge of the Sith. We gotta go the, we gotta go the actual. The numbers, right. Not the so, movie three, okay. but episode yeah, I three. I like right. Sith. I like Sith. It it's good. It's my favorite out of those One and two. two. I've heard what? a lot of bad things, but when I was a kid, I enjoyed the films very much. The thing is, even as a kid. But then when you kind of watch them again, I still kind of enjoy them a little even, bit. It wasn't that bad. I, no, I, I enjoy them. It's a Phantom Menace's big fall as Jar Jar. He's just in too much of they the movie. They gave Jar Jar a lightsaber in the comics. Oh yeah, I know. They made him a councilman and everything. He's pretty funny well he just had it for like a quick second oh yeah no he, he didn't but he was part of the council and part of he did a lot of stuff yeah, in the comics so. actually but like i said there was it wasn't that jar jar was a bad character he was just around too much in the first episode he's done like half the movie if they just didn't give him the voice i think it would have been all okay and they would have given him a little bit more of like not such a doofusy kind of voice and they or still gave just, him that kind of like you know the language they're doing where it was just like it was 
they were kind of talking in that weird monotone God, yeah, kind they, of way. Well, and it wasn't just monotone. They, they took him like the third person. Yeah, it was like, more like, oh, yeah. yeah, that's what it was. It was like more of a third person talk. Me and Jar Jar. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, if they would have like, just done that, it would be fine. But like, it was more of that, I guess, the, the voice. The whole character. It wasn't his looks or anything. It was the Maybe whole Maybe the character. look, too. Yeah, I mean, the look was bad, but they said if he looked like that and spoke like Morgan Freeman, <laughs> would it batter? You know what I'm saying? And at, least that was, at least the actual chief looked like a like he looked cool, but like I don't know. Even then, like he talked the same. Honestly, way the, the, to tell you the truth, the whole that whole alien race was not a very the Gungans, yeah, not a very well designed. I mean, to me, it wasn't at least. I guess they're, they're aliens, though, and it doesn't matter. They can do whatever they want. I think the other <laughs> thing is like, I mean, what's the good design for an alien? Right. Like, I anything. Mean, that, honestly, as long as it looks alienish, right? Which they did, work. but it was just too much. It was just too much bull crap on top of the regular because the rest of the story is actually very good oh, yeah, and build this even t- episode two is but not like bad, i but... think honestly i think it's more too because like george lucas always had this idea that this is not for the adults this is for the kids and he's always said that like oh yeah this is for the kids and so jar jar binks is kind of like that I, even as kid, a kid i like, was just uh but, I, but at the same time that's I was what he like, wanted though you know like that's did. what he wants and, and i mean they did for a lot of that a lot of the pit like the original rough sketches and stuff are like toned down by lucas a ton to be more kid friendly colorful i mean there's a lot of that in star wars where he's toning it down and pulling back like darker sub stories i mean obviously people die and stuff but it is very much like you said even the most recent solo story was very much for the kids yeah but they didn't feel very gloomy or anything no no i mean even when they are dark and gloomy they have that hope the ray of light you know what i mean that and that's another one of the, like the sub themes but i, so, I think speaking of so we star story grudge 47 meters oh yeah down. grudge is coming back i heard about that one i'll be interested it's a remake oh annabelle yeah it's a remake of the american remake of the japanese <laughs> oh god Oh, Man, bad. there's a uh, yeah. The Annabelle's coming out with another one. That does look pretty good. I'm actually interested. I heard the second one wasn't actually that bad. I still have to check it out. Same. I watched the first one and it wasn't uh, good. So all right. And then we got Spider-Man: Far From Home, Lion King. Mm-hmm. Man, they got a lot of Disney Once rocking. Once upon a time in Hollywood. The new mutants, but we'll see about yeah, that. Yeah, we'll one see now. if that's coming. Hobbs and Shaw's kind of interest. Artemis Fowl. Mm, I've heard I've a lot of people not of it, interested. But I've in, heard that it's a book, right? It's a book series, and Leo, uh, Leo's just like, "Don't ruin it." They oh, always ruin that. It series. chapter two is coming out. <laughs> the only one they never ruined was Harry Potter, and even the Harry Potter fans are like, "You guys, eh. y'all are fucking up sometimes." Yeah. They, and they <laughs> there's still things they messed up on. So we got it chapter two. Oh, I'm excited for yeah, that. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Downtown Abbey. I can't wait to see. The I'm actually excited run. for that Adams Family one. If you've seen about, I didn't there. see. Well, I saw it here, but I didn't see the down oh, things. Oh my gosh, so I'm, I'm so excited for that. The Adams one. Family is always good. Not, I, there's not a single Zombie Land too. Yes, yeah, supposedly supposed which to come is, out. Which is so funny. Bill Murray's coming so in with uh, another Ghostbusters long. character. Oh my god, it's taken exactly ten years, but they finally gave us a fucking sequel. This it's is, been ten years. Yes. Wow. That's why I was like, Jesus Christ, Gemini Man and Joker. So, yeah, well, that one looks I, good though. I'm excited. Here's the thing, I it it depends on the director, I think. But as long as they give the ca- good character to Joaquin Phoenix, I think Joaquin Phoenix is an actor that can portray the. Joker. I hope that they really, honestly, they kind of just let Joaquin Phoenix just yeah, do, his own do thing. what the fuck he wants. Just do his own thing. He, lo- I think he knows what he's doing. He'll be. He's a good fucking actor. You don't need to nobody tell him what. To- <laughs> this reminds me of like said, one of the stories I remember. There was like someone talking about directing Morgan Freeman for the Bucket List, right? And he's like, and I'm I'm up here and I'm like, all right, Morgan, bro, just. Just, do, just be Morgan Freeman. That's yeah. all you gotta tell him. Like, he's like, he I looked at him. I'm like, you don't need any of this information, dude. He's like, no, but go on ahead. <laughs> Feel free to finish. <laughs> and it really is. It's like, no, they're just good actors. They've done this for many years, and they will do this for many years, hopefully. And yeah, they don't need your help to tell them how to act the character. They've read the script. They've read their notes. As long as you made a good character for them to play, yeah, then it'll be good. Yeah. And even not, even if not, those guys can make bad characters good you know what i mean that's that's their charisma and their power as actors adam's family there's adam's family uh oh, look to see who's actually on the list of uh already people casted i actually uh, i think that's oscar the one that isaac charlie stern chloe grace mortez yep finn wolfhard and allison janey yeah they had some good people already i was yeah. excited for so you are my friend and the goldfinch oh yeah frozen 2 supposedly oh that's yeah, right. coming out. charlie's angels yeah 
Uh, Christian Stewart's in that one. Untitled Terminated Project. It's how that one's you... coming out. That one is for sure coming out because they have Sarah Connor. Already, I know they're gonna do and it, and they it's have just, the original. How are you uh, not? Gonna... Yeah, they that's... have the original actor coming to play her part again. Yeah, Linda Hamilton. Yeah, Linda Ham. I like her. She's good. She's good. I really and it's dir- uh, Deadpool director Tim Miller. So it's oh, that's really right. Tim Miller is doing it. Death on the Nile, Kingsman Three. I still haven't even seen. Uh, Kingsman I heard two. what's his name's coming back for it. The... I, I haven't seen two yet. Sonic it's the Hedgehog. Uh, what do you think? Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know. I'm glad they changed up the graphics because I was not impressed. It's Frozen 2 and Jumanji 2. Really? Yeah, Jumanji 2 is coming out. I'm surprised about that. It was, There's it, what it you was would call good, it, though. Uh, so it's going to be Jack Black, also supposedly oh, going to be Oh, wow. In. Masters of the Universe? You I didn't, didn't know even, about that no, one? No, I didn't know about There's that one. There's some concept art. Look it up. One of the guys who's doing the artwork for it has already posted some things up for it. It looks really good, actually. Oh, okay. So it's a Masters of the Universe animated. No, they're supposed no, to do like, a movie. No, oh, they're doing wow. the movie. That's crazy. And then Star Wars Episode Nine, which but who uh, else is supposed to be coming in Jumanji Three? There's uh, another let's character. See. Jumanji Three, those known about the sequel, the bigger than expected hit. Da, 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 da. Screenwriter Scott Rosenberg is attached as a fourth lead star is from last time. Um, it doesn't have anyone new listed here, mm-hmm. but I'm sure they're. I forget in the most. somebody was coming in new. I can't remember though. There was that though. I mean, yeah, there's just so many good movies this year. Oh, and yeah. Honestly, I'm just prepared for all oh, of them. Oh, God, which trailer do I even watch? John Wick? Let's do John Wick, because I actually have not seen the John Wick 3 as well. Either. Yeah. <laughs> right. So we're going to put that on and let you guys go. But it was a good hour session, and we did good. Hey. All right.